go, guys. It's, it's late. Last year, last season, um, we came together as a five man uh, playing under the playground kids. And uh, that kind of fell apart, and we wanted to keep it going. So uh, we ended up recruiting a couple more guys, some guys that I used to play with, some new guys. We really just want to see this thing grow. Um, you know, keep bringing in more guys, make more lines, and uh, really just take it as far as we can. Um, just have a really successful program. This is Obama. Okay. And then Obama beat Hillary in the election, so Hillary is the next power. Why did you join Savages? Um, I joined Savages because they're a great group of guys and we both enjoyed the game of paintball. It's a good off-season team because I play with Temple and now I play with Savages. I joined basically because of the level of commitment that everyone on the team has. Some of us have different commitments, play on other teams during the during like the college year. Uh, like I play on Temple, Jacob and Brady play on Temple. And um, but regardless of that, like we are just a group of guys that come out every weekend and everyone's always down to grind. And so that's something that like I really respect out of like my teammates and, and the reason why I, I wanted to play on Savages. Kevin hit me up, um, played with him on multiple different teams. I know he's a great guy, so it was pretty much a no-brainer. Just really wanted to, again, get back with a group of guys and get out there and shoot some people. We're all helping each other get better, improve every day, and um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of good ballers here. Savages actually got me back into paintball. Our, uh, our captain Kev, my brother and I, and his cousin Mike all went out and decided to play one weekend. Uh, maybe a month or so later, we played a three-man tournament, and it's, it's just grown ever since then. Kevin actually gave me a call. Uh, I was out of the game for eight years, and he wanted me to play rec a little bit, and uh, I got the itch again. Yeah, we good? One minute. We're good. All right. to jump in so I just kind of jumped in and been playing since then. Um, actually I uh, just graduated uh, college in Boston. I just moved to Philly. I uh, didn't know anybody here. My One of my first weekends here I got together a small team with uh, one of my college buddies who was in town and uh, Kevin and Mike ended up joining up and showing up and uh, being our extra bodies and basically things just went from there. I joined Savages because this summer I just started getting into competitive paintball and I just started playing with Kevin, Mike, and Jake, and next thing you know, I'm playing with them every weekend, and then I'm on the team. Um, just their local team, they're cool guys. It's uh, a great bunch of guys that look like they want to improve, and uh, I'm just trying to get back into the sport. Why am I on Savages? Because, um, I'm not sure really, I mean, <laughs> they just took me, and I just decided to join, I guess. <laughs> Why do I play paintball? Because it's fun and it releases a lot of stress that I have. Five. I play paintball because it's fun. Like for me, it's really relaxing. Um, I really like how cerebral it is. I play because it's a pure sport. You know, there's 
rules, obviously, and a lot of methodologies and stuff that you, you have to kind of do, but really, the camaraderie when it comes down to it, hanging out with a good group of guys and just having fun every weekend. I play paintball because it's just really fun. I got hooked the first day I played. My dad took me and my friend out, and he's like, let's go play paintball. And then from there, here I am. Uh, it's fun. It's uh, a stress reliever. And uh, it's like no other sport. You can come out, play on Sunday, meet a great group of guys, and become like a family. I would say out of any sport I've played, it's most heavily based upon teamwork and communication. And uh, I think that's awesome. You know, that's what I want in this sport. There's so much to it. There's, it's like a, a moving chess match that's just constantly changing. Um, and I love just analyzing everything to it. You know, it's you know the camaraderie and. You know, just all the different things that you can do. Um, there's just so much finesse to everything. And, you know, it really just keeps me going. Dude, you're gonna get the kills on the D side on this layout. So like, you can get the D3. Ah! Um, to be honest, I really don't remember. I remember sitting on my couch thinking this would be a fun thing to do and my mother never let me do this when I was little, so I might as well uh, give it a shot, give it a go. And that's pretty much what happened. Played uh, for a year at Rutgers, um, went broke and had to stop playing. I uh, played for another year out in Minnesota and uh, took about two years off before I met these guys again. Played maybe maybe when I was like 10 or 12, uh, just woods ball with friends, but um, with competitive speed ball, yeah, it was, it was Kev and my brother and, and Mike Desi. It's purely for all friends sake. Uh, we played woods ball in my backyard and uh, one person led to another of finding out about other fields to play out and then speedball came around. When I was younger I used to compete in scenario shooting like real firearms and then they had a problem and they changed the rules where you were supposed to be 18 to shoot a specific um, sidearm and so I wasn't allowed to do that anymore and my personal trainer told me about um, about paintball and how there's a uh, a group of guys who were in the U.S. military that go out every week and play paintball. So I, um, I went out there and tried it for one time. And I really liked it, so I just like kept going with it. How do you feel about the uh, group of guys you have? Well, the group of guys I have are a bunch of assholes. Um, I, I love playing with these guys. These guys are family. Um, you know, we always come together. We're there for each other. We love helping each other. We hang outside of PayPal. We go out to the bars. We're traveling. All kinds of stuff. It's uh, it's really just the best thing ever, really. Chemo, drop the mix, make this shit sound like an album. Who'd have thought a country wide tour would be the outcome? Labels want my name beside an X like Malcolm. Everybody got a deal, I did it without one. Yeah, nigga, I'm about my business. Killing all these rappers, you would swear I had a headless. Everyone who doubted me is asking for forgiveness. If you ain't been a part of it, at least you got to witness. So, uh, how do you feel about next week's tournament? Um, I think the most important thing next week is going to be, one, communication, 
Uh, I thought that was something that we did really well in last week, and this week it was so-so. I think we just gotta get voices across the field. And then I think the second thing is getting our lanes down. Like, we practiced lanes today, and the paint was not that great, but uh, I think that's gonna change with the tournament paint. Like, we have guys that are really good laners. They're usually getting a lot of Gs off the break. So, I think that in the tournament, it's gonna be a little bit different. How do you feel about the layout? The layout is cool. It's taken some time to adapt to, um, but we just walked it. We figured out, you know, some good breakouts and some, you know, some some aggressive style ones, some pocket style ones. So, you know, we got a we got a little bag of tricks up, you know, up our sleeves. So, I think I think that's gonna bode pretty well for us. USBL prelims went fantastic. We crushed all the other teams. One, two, three, seven! This place is dragging me down. A hamster wheel I thought I'd be done by now. Now that all my allies are gone, I realize it's dancing with Then we took the break and we went into the we went to the Ocho. Damn it all to hell. Damn it all to hell. And we just came out flat, like I don't really know what else to say about that. Like sometimes, you know, you just you play a great game in the beginning of the day and then it just doesn't work out at the end of the day. That's how that went. We ended up taking fifth, which, it, you know, it was a little disappointing for all of us, but it just it means we're just gonna work harder. We're just gonna drill harder and, and come back stronger. Man, next week is gonna be cake. We're gonna kill it. I mean, there's there's just no question about it. If we come home with anything less than first and second, I'm gonna beat the shit out of everyone. <laughs> All right, thank you. Go. I was in my bunker and That's what he made it seem like. Yeah. I, was, I was loading. I looked to the inside and when I came back, the god had like a bunch of paint on me. So I went gone and he said like as my arm went up he thought I was trying to do this. Uh, I was like, dude, no, I'm gone. Like he was like, get out. What do you mean? I'm walking out of my bunker. Yeah. Like, Oh wait, Elite doesn't have breath. 